Hey, this is Richard C. Um, what I did is I had I needed cases for my uh, Mavic 2 and my Mavic Air. So I decided to go ahead and um, go to uh, Harbor Freight um, because it was a lot cheaper. These are the two cases I use. One's for my Mavic Air, one's for my Mavic 2, even though the one on the right's also fitted for the uh, Mavic 2 so I can fit it in also. The big difference is, of course, is the, is the, is the price. Uh, if you, you gotta, normally the one on the left, it's, a, uh, it's the Apache 4800. It's normally costs like $54. But you can see here, you can get it for you can get it for forty three ninety nine with some coupons and so forth. Uh, the one on the left is uh, twenty nine ninety nine with with coupons. The one, but they're basically both the same, and they're at Harbor Freight. Um, they they both have pinch foam, and I'll explain later on what pinch foam is. Um, but it, it means you can custom fit it. Uh, they both come with they're, they're hard. So basically, they mean they're hard. If you go on some websites, they compare them against Pelican cases. You can drive on them. They're uh, they're water uh, watertight. Uh, one guy actually took them and dunked them underwater, uh, about a foot under water. Even though the cases aren't supposed to be done that way, no water got in. Uh, they're uh, they, could, they have a pressure release valve. Sometimes I've, I've it's happened to me before. You're traveling. And you go from different heights. Now, you, when things are airtight or watertight, uh, you can't open it because of the darn pressure. Where do we do valve release and the pressure will equalize? Uh, they're also lockable, so you can lock them. In addition, they got a good handle and they're 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 thick. Now, what I do is I can fit I can fit the Mavic 2. There's the Mavic 2. I can fit the Mavic 2 in there. There's uh, some bl spare blades. There's my filter. There's my cables. I carry a flashlight. I also I carry a, um, a, a battery so then I can charge my uh, remote and my phone because uh, so, I found, find that the, the, the remote is always running out of uh, is always running out of power because I use an Android system. Uh, so I'm always so I'm always having to charge. Uh, in addition, I can fit all my chargers, including a, you know, my, uh, including my charging uh, hub. In addition, the charger. In addition, I have a DC charger in here I can use. I can I can keep my batteries here. As you can see, uh, the bat I, I put mine parallel, uh, flat because I like to be able to see if I have power right away. Fairly easy. Uh, I could have gone this way because I can I can remove this bottom panel and I could go deeper down here and I could have I could have made more space and gone something like something like that but I I prefer flat but in the future if I decide to do that I can always just I can always pinch out the bottom here and and then I would have the ability to uh, then I would have the ability to do that. I can keep extra SD cards in here. I have an extra stick remote. Um, also, you can remove. You can take this out here. You can keep paperwork on the bottom and so forth. And the nice thing, of course, is that it's it's lockable, it's sealable, and it's it's hard. And this is this is the 3800, which was 29.99. I got this originally, and then I realized I wanted more space, but I needed something for my Mavic Air, so I kind of put some foam back underneath here to set it, set up higher, and now it fits my Mavic Air also. And the batteries go in here, but you can see the difference. There's a, there's a lot more space in here, so you can fit a lot more. You can see the differences from here and here and here. A lot more space. I could have gotten even more on this one. Uh, but I can still put my batteries here. They also fit my Mavic Air batteries. So I can also fit them in there. Um, and also it's exactly the same thing. It's hard case. It's the same. It has the same pressure release valve and so forth. And it is hard. Um, and of course... When you when you after you buy the case for five you go to Lowell's for five six bucks you can get this plastic tip, and what you do is you 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 spray it. When you're all done fitting everything's fine. Sometimes the uh, little uh, sometimes the little stuff. Let me show you that. Sometimes 
sometimes this foam here will come loose if it's on the top and that's how you pinch it out you pinch it you pinch it like this i didn't do this part because i put that in after when my, i put my mavic air i pull this out but when i do my, Ma, my, my when i put my mavic 2 in here uh, i have to pull this out to fit my mavic air fits fine on top of this but you but uh, you can see how it comes loose sometimes because this part I didn't spray. This is sprayed right here. It's sprayed with this. Same thing with this. So what you do is when you're all done fitting it, you take this plastic tip and you basically just spray it real slow and you soak you soak the surface of it. You don't spray it like you would uh, a spray sign or, or an automobile, metal or wood. You actually soak, 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 soak. And and you it takes one spray, it takes one can to do that. It took one can to do that. I think I put a little too thick on this. See how it's shiny? And I try to spray it like a like I would normal spray paint, and I realized I need to soak it. This one I did a lot better because then I realized just spray and soak. It soaks it up. And when it dries, it's just it just becomes this rubber. And it and it provides it provides foam. Now when I go when I backpack or day pack. Uh, this isn't good for that so I end up getting this type case and this case here will all will fit my will fit this and the remote here and I got this for day packs uh, or my day pack or backpack before I used to put this either in a plastic bag my Mavic 2 in a plastic bag or wrap it in clothes and I uh, was always worried because uh, uh, my ba day pack or backpack I have a water bladder that's built internally. Uh, and uh, I was afraid it was going to get wet. And I ended up, I was so paranoid. And I needed padding. So I decided that this, fit, this fits in here perfectly. And it provides some better water protection. It provides decent water protection. And, it's, um, and it provides enough padding. So I decided to go, I decided to go for that. Uh, that's about it. Again, it, compare them on compare them outside. You can see the differences. There, see. Now, if you're going to travel on an airline, probably this would be the better one because you could probably it probably consider it enough to fit in the luggage uh, underneath the seat. Because I think when you fly, you have to um, you can't bring the batteries, so the batteries have to have to be visible to the airline because uh, batteries aren't allowed in the luggage compartment. Uh, but so so um, this will probably be smaller for that. And plus you have the pressure release valve, which is actually pretty good. Of course, this has the same thing on the back. Um, but um, but I want to, again, I, I end up using this one for my rest of my stuff. Okay. Again, you can get this at Harbor Freight. Uh, it's it's a lot cheaper than buying. It's like a hundred dollars uh, plus if you went on the internet, and you probably wouldn't be able to custom. You wouldn't be able to custom fit. You wouldn't be able to custom fit everything if you went the other one. If you went with the other ones. So and these are these are really really good. See, they're really really tough. Ugh. Really tough. Okay. Thank you.